Hello, Crypto Ed here, Monday 18th of April. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and whenever you are looking or watching this uh, video. Um, this is my first um, longer video uh, than what you're used to from me. Normally I do those three minute Bitcoin videos. Um, Bi-weekly, I am going to do um, some longer videos where I check Bitcoin and some altcoins on uh, on higher time frames. My my three minute videos are usually for the next 24, 48 hours. Um, in this these kind of videos, I want to check out the um, uh, higher time frames daily weekly monthly and what we are going to do today is of course what i said bitcoin long term eth uh long term i want to check a few altcoins with you and then a bit of educational stuff i want to explain a bit more about elliott wave because it is a um, trading system what i which i use uh, quite often uh, but it's quite controversial. There are a lot of negative sounds about Elliott Wave, and I will explain why. Um, it's not going to be a very, very much detailed uh, Elliott Wave course. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts about it, how I use it, and I will have a downloadable file, um, which I will link, the link I will post in the subscription below. Um, and upon that, uh, finally, uh, uh, at the end, I will do the draw of the winner for the giveaway, um, which I held on Twitter. I was also planning to do a uh, bit more explanation about Woo Network, the exchange, as you can see now in my uh, in my screen. Um, but I don't have the time for that, and uh, we'll do that the next time. Um, but you can already see here that um, is this is the, uh, yeah, the trading panel, and you can fully uh, design a, as you wish. Uh, there are a lot of features where you can choose from, and, and that's one of the nicer things of uh, this this platform you can add uh, a lot of widgets and, and make your own um platform like you like to use it um another interesting thing just i just noticed today was the integration of the woo trading pairs on trading view it is uh, not officially announced yet um but i just discovered that uh, before i started recording this video uh too late to uh start working with these uh these charts uh <laughs> because i had already done my preparation and, and my charting um but i will start using them one of the uh disadvantages is that we um that the history is not not that much in uh, trading view but of course that will build up in in the future um so for longer term videos i will still have to use the um, um charts from others other exchanges or the index charts which i also use a lot so that was my intro um let's first start off with bitcoin like you are used to um from me uh, I'm always giving you a couple of different charts. Uh, I usually I am using Elliott Wave and uh, ranges charts or support resistance. Um, this is actually a ranges chart on the daily. Um, yeah, well, well, we can start off right with this one. Um, in my next longer video, by the way, I will um, highlight or explain more about range trading and um, how you can use these pretty simple uh, setups for uh, trading. It's uh, applicable on every um, every time frame, and uh, the more how how can I say that? Well, the the, the longer I'm trading Bitcoin, um, I'm more and more 
going away from the traditional trading styles, uh, charting styles. In the past, I worked a lot with um, uh, classic wave patterns. Uh, we all know the uh, bull flags, um, falling wedges, rising wedges. But <clears throat> in my opinion, Bitcoin or crypto is more and more a, a liquidity game where the big players are looking to scoop up the liquidity and to find liquidity in the charts and range trading uh, range charts are uh, perfect for that kind of technique um, but what i said i will explain that in one of my next videos how to use this and and where to look for um, for now you can see that we uh, have a range low here this is your range high we uh, took out the previous highs so this is your liquidity and we're coming down we're now at range mid um, just a spike below today um, if you follow range trading this is the most logical move for uh, the coming weeks in case we definitely lose the range myth so if you see a bearish retest here um, then you might be preparing for more downside when i go to my support resistance chart i also showed this one uh, in today's uh, three minute video i will link it somewhere here above um but on my support resistance we uh, already broke last week uh, 40,000 yeah 40,500 and yeah you can see that uh, we came down retested that level and dropped but if you purely look at this chart i would say this is your range where we are playing right now that is between 37 to 45,000 purely looking at support resistance you would say uh, we're coming down here and maybe already going way lower i do not expect us to go way lower yet i do think we first see some bounce just like uh, if you have an uptrend let me make this one in white by the way um just like what happens in an uptrend you have corrections you also have corrections or consolidations in the downtrend but this is a bigger consolidation right here for now i treat uh, that as a i consider that to be a correction in the downtrend but i will explain more about that in my elliott wave chart um if you purely look at the key levels on the daily then it is pretty obvious that most people are looking for a retest of 30,000, maybe even a, a quick drop below and then up again. Uh, but I do have charts. <laughs> well, let's see. You will probably hope that I come with charts telling you that uh, we're going to uh, 80, 90,000 from here, but charts are not looking like that. Um, we need a miracle for that more or less um yeah this is well if you look at the bigger picture here what is also what i think is is we didn't correct that much uh, if you look on the log scale but maybe we should go to the um linear scale it is not even that much of a correction well it is um from from 60 70 000, uh, back to uh, 30 000. um but in normal charting it, it could go way lower in um, after uh, such a big rise to the upside in uh, in support resistance i don't have much more to say here that as long as we're not clearly above this level again I would be very careful for now the, the range i consider to be between 37 and 45 uh drop below 37 
bit of a retest and we are very likely to see sub 30,000 levels. My Elliott Wave chart is saying, uh, is giving me a bit more information. Back to the daily chart. Um, we do have what I consider to be a five legs move to the upside from last year, May, uh, June, July, and doing a very deep correction. You can see that uh, we already came pretty low in uh, December it was, oh, in January, December was here. January, we already had a big uh, drop and already coming in this, uh, this area. If I purely look at Elliott Wave, um, this cycle doesn't seem to be finished yet. We do have a big move down, W, X, Y, which could bring us all the way to 21, 22,000. That's still quite a bit to go. Doesn't need to uh, work out like that. Elliott wave is a very subjective um, trading technique, a charting technique. So it is always in Elliott wave a matter of, uh, in hindsight, you can find the right patterns and build on that for the next weeks. For now, or in the next months. For now, I do see here this this big move down, and uh, most likely uh, going to uh, first to to retest thirty thousand. I will explain why. Look, if I go to my four hour chart, uh, let hold on, let me mark out first this area where we come down. You can see one, two, three, four, five. We have five legs to the downside. So that means we have an impulsive move to the downside. Um, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. We are now finishing this fifth leg. This morning in my update, I said that I expect us to do one more down. Uh, well, now finish, if we come down now, is we would be finishing sub like three, four, and then is five finished. And that could be uh, around 37,000. And look where we were in my support resistance chart around, it would be at this level. So that lines up. Going back to uh, Elliott Wave. We had this uh, slow bounce in the past weeks here, which I'm labeled as a WXY. Um, for a trending move in uh, an impulsive move, you need five legs to the upside. And we didn't see that here. Look, one, two, three. Uh, a few weeks back, I said uh, we might go for 80,000. If we reclaim 46,000, then we would have seen here a fifth leg, then a correction, and then continuation to the upside. But yeah, that failed. Uh, we didn't hold 46,000 and we dropped. Uh, what I do see now is here five legs to the downside. Uh, we need a little bit more down. A bounce maybe to 42, 43,000. Explained in the video I posted this morning, link above, um, or in my channel. If you check my channel, you will find it. But we have five down, then an ABC up, and then another five down at least. Um, if this is a corrective move to the downside, then you should have five, three, five. It's called a zigzag. And yeah, based on Elliott Wave, the chance is very unlikely that we see somehow a very strong move to the upside here. We first need to complete that zigzag at least. But look, one, two, three, four, five. Imagine if we do get an acceleration here to the downside and then do a four and a five, then you're already in, in the low 20,000. So looks like we have some, uh, some more downside to come. When I look at the bigger picture for Bitcoin, um, 
again here also yeah if you if you look at it like here it, it, uh three four five well if if we go below this level so below what we uh bounce from in july august then this will be our second leg and this is leg number five and this one will be here and then you can see that uh, from the start Um, <clears throat> there is still um, oh. we this is a linear scale we do have then one two three four five then a correction which could bring us below the 618 FIP level, which is uh, in a leg number two. So uh, this leg is not even that dramatic. It happens, well, it, it could go a bit below. Usually you have a correction to the 0 0.5, 0 0.618 FIP level. So these levels, but yeah, could go a bit lower. It, um because we did have of course that enormous uh, run up and um it's not really on on the on the bigger time a bigger scale uh like like whales are thinking it's not really that dramatic yet um we see it more often that that you have such a deep retrace below the 618 um but as i said it's theoretical it is a uh, it's a risk we have in uh, Elliott wave that we complete this move to the downside. One of the disadvantages in Elliott Wave is that there are so many possibilities. Imagine if we go up from here, we, uh, we have to look for a different labeling of, of, of this move down and uh, for sure we will find one. It's, that's always the problem with Elliott Wave. Um, I always say, Ask 10 chartists, uh, 10 people to uh, show their count in Elliott Wave, and you will, you will get at least six, seven different labelings for the same move. As I said, it's very subjective. And this is what I see now as, as the risk to, uh, to the downside. And yeah, if I, let me take another one. Look. This is the problem. We have one, two, three. This is your downtrend, and we have a corrective bounce to the upside. There is no fifth leg. There is a, <laughs> there we go. There is a possibility that we do a leading diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, and then a correction, and then up. It is a, a rather rare pattern. Um, but one of the possibilities um, to explain in Elliott Wave why we are going up suddenly. Um, it's, it's also immediately I'm showing you here the, the disadvantage in uh, Elliott Wave. It is very subjective. And, and if you, your bias is, for instance, uh, you expect from here to go up, then you can say, okay, we do a leading diagonal one more correction and then we go up if you are bearish you can say we do have a move to the downside with a corrective bounce and we will go down much more both will fit and um that i i sometimes see people on, uh, on on twitter being very convinced about a certain elite wave count uh, which has to be uh, the correct one and there is no other one uh, possible not not any other uh, scenario possible no i i don't agree with that it it fully depends on on the bias uh, a charter has um 
What else can I say? Well, the the, the bigger picture on uh, Elliott Wave, either if we uh, drop to uh, either go up from here or we drop to uh, 20,000, it is still a bullish cycle. And which would mean that what I said, we do have one, two, and then we have a next leg up to the upside towards um, 80,000, 100,000. So on the, on the bigger perspective, there's not much to worry about. Um, what else was interesting? Uh, let me check if I can see it here quickly for you. No, it's not really clean on this one. Um, maybe here. What I also see here is that we uh, do have here quite a zone of accumulation. Um, especially also because this move was very sluggish a price action and we did have sudden pumps and, and deep retraces, sudden pump, deep retrace. It happened all over. We have a very tough first few months this year uh, where the price action is, yeah, not really nice to trade and very tricky. And that's very often a uh, sign or a typical happening what happens in um, uh, re-accumulation zones. So I do think this was a, a re-accumulation. Well, this was a, a consolidation zone, but also from there, we did have a big run. Um, I'd say we, if, if we ignore the, the, the big risk I showed you in Elliott Wave, we do have a good chance that, that we drop here and, and, uh, start moving higher again in my charts i do not have clear proof that this is the zone from where we go up but if you if i purely look at um yeah the, the history and also what happened over here last year um i still think um uh, we might have a good chance that uh, we don't go all the way to 20,000. But, but yeah, let's first see if we break down 37,000 and then 30,000. But I would be surprised if we come down uh, all the way here to uh, sub 30,000. And if we take out these uh, lows, if we get that low, I would be very surprised if we don't see a strong bounce. The doom scenario in Elliott Wave is for me less likely. Um, but we cannot deny we do have here a huge bearish flag. Again, what I said, we have that downtrend and here that, um, yeah, three legs to the upside and we are now really on uh, on the breakdown of uh, of that move uh, of that pattern or you can make it like this then we have a little bit a uh, bit more room to the downside but purely looking at the patterns it is saying um we're gonna have more downside and uh, the volume is also declining on this move up it's also not a good sign so yeah not looking fantastic in uh, in Elliot, uh, in um, in bitcoin goes for the whole uh, the rest of the market in my opinion i do think we have a good chance of testing um 37 then 30000 and um then I at least expect a bigger bounce and, and don't see us going to, uh, to 20,000. No. Although I have it in, in Elliott Wave as a possibility. Uh, and I think it's good to, uh, to warn you that uh, we're not really now 
looking at at a market which feels very bullish and and of course the global markets uh, also stock markets are uh, coming down and uh, bitcoin is more and more following uh, the traditional markets um these are also not looking great uh, for upside potential in the coming weeks months maybe even um, if you follow me closer um for a longer time then you know that i when we went up over here somewhere i said i'm not trusting it those moves to the upside they don't feel uh feel great they don't feel natural and and every time those deep retraces uh made me already worry and uh well, yeah we can see the effect now and what i said looks like we have five down here maybe finishing fifth leg down towards 37500 and then i would expect a bit of a bounce that bounce let's first see if we crack uh break reclaim 40000 if we break 40000 i do expect a uh, bullish impulse towards 42 43 um, but that sounds already quite far away from here um <clears throat> Ether, uh, Ether is yeah kind of the same. Um, also here on the higher time frame, this is the daily. We do not have five legs to the upside. It did go a bit higher than Bitcoin, uh, if you compare it. But this is the strong downtrend. For now, we only have uh, three legs to the upside. If you purely follow Elliott wave, you want to see a fifth leg, then a correction, and then up again um but this looks more like just like bitcoin five down maybe a bit more down then a bounce rejection around this level and then coming down um this is my other chart i have for ETH. um Yeah, I labeled it from here, that, that big move down, W, X, oh, I want this in white, <laughs> uh, W, X, Y, could be finished, but um, I'm, uh, if Bitcoin makes that bigger move towards 20,000, you will see Ether making this move, uh, which is also pretty dramatic. And not what you want to see, but it is in the charts, as you can say. Um, lower time from here, uh, ETH is uh, also doing that uh, that five legs down here, at green box. I do think one more down, coming days, and uh, into that that box here, and then I would expect at least a bounce, and do more or less the same as bitcoin like one down it's again yellow how weird um then a corrective bounce and then another move to the downside that's how it looks for, for me now um and and what i said here also a b c i don't have any impulsive move to the upside here so we are still in big downtrend, uh, corrective bounce, and possibly way more downside. And if you look here, yeah, let me go to log scale. Even if you look here, it is, uh, you can see that that Ether is a bit higher uh, compared to where Bitcoin is. ETH did have here one, two, three, four, five. If somehow this, this could be the bottom, but then we need here the same what I said about Bitcoin. One, two, three, this should be four, then five. And then we have a, again a leading diagonal seeing here correction and then continuation to the upside but 
also here the patterns with more downside look more like uh, seem to be more likely in Elliott wave. And yeah, we can look at the volume, but is it saying us something? Is it telling us something? It is rising a little bit. There is, of course, um, there were some developments with ETH. Um, upcoming merge could have given a bit more upside, but. Um, in general, markets still not looking great. Of course, it can change a lot. Imagine we we started with um, with a lot of downside risk um, around here. Or uh, I mean, weak charts was more or less over here when uh, Russia started to invade uh, or tried to invade. Uh, well, they did um, the Ukraine. It started over here. And uh, look how messy this price action is. But I do think if we do get positive news from, from those sites, that will give a, a very new dimension um, sentiment in the market and uh, could cause some better bullish vibes. Uh, otherwise, if I purely look at fundamentals and stuff, I, I don't know what, what is going to pump uh, Bitcoin at the moment. It, it, yeah, I hate to be bearish, but uh, it looks most logical at, the, at this moment. And that also goes for a lot of the other altcoins. Um, I will show you a couple, but if this is uh, ETH Bitcoin, um, I also think here we will see more downside. Huh? We broke out here and uh, absolutely looks to me as uh, this is going to correct in the coming weeks to the downside. And that could be very well when Bitcoin is also coming down, then uh, the whole market will be in, in a bearish sentiment. And then you will see both the dollar pairs as the Bitcoin pairs uh, dropping. In my uh, outlook uh, for altcoins, I <clears throat> always start my updates with looking at alt perp and defi perp. That are two baskets on FTX, which gives me immediately a good insight how these uh, alt perp, that's the, I think 10 biggest altcoins, how they trade. And defi, yeah, the name says it already. It's a basket of, I think, 25 defi coins and basically most of all these uh, altcoins either you look at them in in the basket or any other altcoin most of them show the same pattern that we recently had a uh, important rejection at for me a key level this support resistance you can see it was support here support a bit of support here resistance support 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 and then break down come back down up resistance and here again resistance so that was uh, pretty disappointing to see that move happening and also here one two three you see i'm missing uh, on the daily time frame a fifth leg to the upside let me check to be sure on uh, well, I, on, on the lower time frame, I could find one, but uh, then it is an A, B, C. Still not convinced this is um, a impulsive move like a drill here to the upside. Um, I do have from here one, two, three, four, five. That's why I do have this, uh, this bigger pattern drew, drawn over here. But if Bitcoin starts moving towards 30,000, you will see uh, these also coming down. And that are quite some bigger moves. 
easily 30% more downside. Um, also here, DeFi, you can see here, it, it, it did break out, but the reclaim didn't succeed and uh, it came down. And yeah, it, I can't help it, but this, this looks bearish for a, a retest of that, uh, of that low of the previous lows and, and, and maybe even lower. So, um, absolutely not you know, on the lower time frames, uh, or let's say on this time frame, absolutely not looking bullish. I would turn bullish when on altcoins, when we do see either a retest of this range or we break out here. This was also a um, key level for me to uh, to trade more altcoins. Uh, we didn't succeed. Um, all this move up, uh, we want our members to, to not go all in or to over trade because of the risk uh, we saw in Bitcoin and Ether. Um, so yeah, either looking for lower uh, ranges to uh, trade or break out to the upside but that must be uh, a very strong reclaim and i don't see that happening very soon um a couple of altcoins quickly um also here yeah general weakness i see compare uh, together with all these gaps to the downside and also here in uh, linear scale, that um, I do see that in many altcoins, if we lose these levels, we make uh, big drops to the downside. Uh, this is AVAX. Also here, look, this is what we also see in Bitcoin, such a bearish flag. And this is your risk. if we follow that Elliott wave uh, pattern. Have a, let's have a look at the volume. Yeah, there is, there is some, some increase in volume from here, but nothing like this here, absolutely not. And if you see this here as a, uh, accumulation zone then I would rather think about something like that oh. curve yeah look we do have some sort of starting to break down this is the uh, dollar pair this looks also much more likely and maybe even bitcoin sub 30,000 is uh coins like curve coming back to this zone into that previous accumulation zone it's a pattern you see a lot huh, in uh, in crypto you do have a strong pump and then all the way coming back uh wheels uh are out from here and they are looking here to uh, to reaccumulate. I don't know what's happening. All kinds of alerts going. Uh, Luna also a lot in uh, a lot of attention for Luna in the past months, <clears throat> of course, because it does have a huge uh, run up. But every coin is correcting, and uh, so we'll do, we'll do Luna also. This here we did have a lower high and could have completed already in abc here um yeah luna might be a bit different than than many other altcoins uh if you look for instance for example today at um, at these price changes it's up nine or ten percent well most of the altcoins are down today and luna is up again so there is still a lot of hype going on in um, um, in Luna. Um, this is a good sign that it 
took out these lows and now coming back above here. So now it needs to hold that level. Uh, otherwise, if it loses that level, I foresee a much bigger move to the downside. And that's also what you see in the, in the dollar pair. Important bounce here. Hold that level. Otherwise, uh, it is it will do a much bigger retrace. And yeah, look at that. If you check from here, purely looking at um, the FIB levels. Then you can say that um, if this total move has to be corrected, then the 3A2 is a pretty small correction and 0 0.5, 0 0.618 is much more logical. And for sure, if Bitcoin goes sub 30,000, this it will happen here also. But I would say keep an eye on uh, 76. We do have a important bounce right now. Um, but um, Bitcoin more down, and this will uh, this will break also uh, break down also. Near, I do think near is uh, is going to retest this level. We do have a, a lower high here, also in the dollar pair. Look, this is your lower high. We do have five up and then an ABC. And yeah, this would be a level where I would be interested. And this is um, basically also the move I, uh, I showed you in Bitcoin. Huh? So here a bit up and coming down. And then make this move. Solana. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. Look at, at the risk to the downside. It, it did already fade out here. Uh, deviation. I doubt it is enough. I really doubt. And how it... It's coming well, it is coming down here, but but and and slowing down that move also. You see here, yeah. But this is what I'm uh, expecting. If Bitcoin manages some, I, I, I explained to you what, what I think for Bitcoin, more likely to see downside, and then you will all see all these altcoins also drop uh, below those key levels. If we somehow manage that, that. Bitcoin uh, refines uh, bullish sentiment and uh, shoots up, then, then these are your uh, supports. But yeah, try to explain that uh, it's more likely if you purely look at the charts to see more downside. The same goes for uh, Solana in a dollar pair. A move back to 80,000 looks more likely here. Uh, let me check. Uh, well, this is more or less a copy of uh, the Bitcoin chart. Uh, I mean, the, the past week. We did have that, that move coming down, then sideways, sideways. Today, that move lower. And it could do, looks like it will do more down. So a bit like this. If Bitcoin makes that bounce and then another to the downside, and then we are already below that, uh, that key level. So, yeah, not looking great. And uh, it's, um, if you look at the whole move and, and it's quite, um, what, what we see every few years, then, then uh, people get very enthusiastic and seeing this coming up towards uh, uh, far over 200 and think uh, it's going to 1000 and uh, the sky is the limit. You see it with so many coins. They all come back and, and look, Solana machine coming back to, uh, maybe coming back to this 
accumulation zone. And then you will see here increased volume and then uh, restart the next uh, or start the next cycle to the upside. Woo. Well, this is a perfect example that I'm uh, well, I'm sponsored by, by Woo Network, but I'm absolutely not uh, hired to shill uh, that token. If so, I, I wouldn't accept the, the sponsorship. We had never talked about it. And um, over here, you can see that um, this is what I did show on Twitter since December, January to see uh, 30 cents and maybe even lower 20 cents. This big correction is not finished yet, in my opinion. And this is exactly what I also told you just before on uh, uh, Solana, big pump. Um, we did a times 20, almost. Um, on, on I missed on two cents at, uh, at, at times 20. Um, but um, yeah, just like the rest of the market. Look here, last week uh, I went for in our group for all those bearish flags and they are breaking down these days. And uh, 20 cents is what I think uh, will happen. Bitcoin sub 30,000 is uh, woo, uh, towards uh, 20 cents. Well, a little bit higher, maybe 22, 23, but uh, <coughs> that's an area to keep an eye on. <clears throat> um, that's what I quickly wanted to uh, share with you uh, in, uh, in altcoins. I, um, my next topic is Elliott Wave. And going to a different uh, page here. I, um, I do use Elliott Wave. Many people uh, think that I'm an Elliott Wave trader. I'm not. Um, well, I don't consider myself as an Elliott Wave trader. Let, let me say it like that. I am, um, what I said in the beginning, I am more and more looking at liquidity and uh, supply and demand. And uh, because of the fact that I think the liquidity game in, in crypto is, is uh, overruling all uh, and, and the manipulation um, is, in my opinion, most important to, uh, to keep an eye on. Um, and to trade with or to chart with. Elliott Wave uh, can be very helpful, especially in um, uh, a trending market. I tend to stay away from, uh, from um, Elliott Wave when, uh, when we do get uh, these kind of complex corrective structures uh, I showed you in Ellie uh, in uh, in ether how I labeled it but you can see if I do have here an ABC which is the first leg of the W X Y and this is an ABC yeah you can already imagine that uh, it is very easy to uh, to have a wrong labeling and that it might Slight, be slightly different. Same example here. I said this is a corrective bounce to the upside, but if we go up from here, then it changes in a one, two, three, four, five. But normally leg number four here cannot get into the area of leg number one. And then we say it's a leading diagonal and um, then it still works like that. So, there are a lot of uh, rules to, to, uh, to learn uh, to master Elliott Wave. And therefore, with all those complex uh, corrections, there are so many, um, especially in those corrective structures, there are so many um, different scenarios or labelings to, to find or, or to, to label a certain move. 
that I, uh, yeah, try to stay away from or, or tend to stay away from, from uh, trying to find my perfect count in Elite Wave. Because if what I said in the uh, earlier, if you are bearish, you will find a bearish pattern. If you are bullish, you will find a bullish pattern. But the most important in uh, why I use Elite Wave is uh, because it is a very nice tool to use in a trending market like here or here um, then i really like it a lot and and it helps me a lot to uh, to find levels and the 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 most important for you to understand from elliot wave is that you have a a trending market and a correcting market and you can very often uh, see that that the, the trend has a way cleaner price structure and the bigger candles, although not always in crypto because we do have those panic uh, sales and uh, liquidations and then you get moves like this. But in normal stock markets, you don't see it like that. And then you do have a much cleaner... Um, where do I have to go here? You have a much cleaner way to uh, label your Elliott Wave count. And um, I did, this is an older file I found uh, on our website. I will uh, leave the link in the description um, with the basic rules of Elliott Wave. After reading those three, four pages, you will not master Elliott Wave. Don't even think about it. But you will have a better understanding how Elliott Wave uh, can help you or what is the basis for Elliott Wave. You do have what I said. Uh, let me pick an annotation. To, uh, yeah, yeah. What I said, you have those uh, impulsive moves to the upside and corrections. Impulse move to the upside and the correction. Impulse move to the upside, and then you have completed five legs, and then you get a bigger correction. In those corrections, uh, you also have sub legs, or even on any time frame. You can apply this on any time frame. Um, so, look, this this red one, and uh, red three, red four, red two. This, this can be on the daily, but you can also apply it on, on the 50-minute chart. Every impulsive move should have one, two, three, four, five. Over here, one, two, three, four, five. And the correction here is a correction in three legs. And once you, you see those structures and you recognize them, it will already help you a lot. Um, we can quickly look at uh, what I wrote down here. Impulsive markets, those making higher highs and higher lows uh, trade in five waves, yes. Corrective markets, those trending side, trade in three waves. That's what I explained to you with those ABCs. Wave one, three, and five are impulsive waves. Waves two and four are corrective waves. So in this move to the upside. Uh, wave two and four are also composed of three smaller waves. Yep, that's what I explained here. What I said here, A, B, C. This is meant with those smaller waves or they do have sub -legs. If you hear me talking about sub -legs, that's what I mean. So every one, two, three, four, five, every impulsive leg, also has five sub legs. Uh, wave three cannot be the shortest. Ah, yeah, this is a nice one. People always say that uh, or think that wave three should be the longest and the strongest. It's not true. It is very often like that, and um, but but not a rule. The rule is that leg number three should not be the shortest. I can explain you why. Um, and that's also a tip for you when you do um, look at any chart 
And either you use um, classic wave patterns or you use Elliott wave or support and resistance. Don't only try to connect dots with a line, no, but tell yourself what you think you are seeing in a chart. <clears throat> and for instance, in, in Elliott wave, you can say you start a correct, you start a um, new trend here and people getting bullish yeah not everybody's already bullish so people take profit not trusting it uh but then we see a bounce and then you see a very strong trend to the upside and you have a nice run people taking profit think uh, the the move to the down uh, upside is over but not everybody in the market is yet uh, thinking it's over but the trend is nearing an end and you see one more up and leg number five is usually uh, most of the times the shortest leg and it only needs to get above uh, three and, and the cycle is major. But start of the trend, the strongest um, period of the, the trend, some um, profit taking and one final push, that makes it uh, five legs. Then you see a correction and starting to go up again. And if you see that in a chart, uh, you can see here, leg number one, leg number two, this is the strongest leg, leg three, and then you have typically elite um, crypto that leg number five is also pretty strong. Um, you, you do see some differences uh, in, in crypto compared to traditional markets that elite wave is sometimes uh, not really uh following or that is not really following the exact rules of uh elliott wave but start of the trends uh coming back down retesting strong trend to the upside people think it's over thinking that we do not make a new high uh but finding support here and making a final push to the upside and this is then your leg number five so that's how it looks in uh, in your chart. And what I said, most important, tell yourself what you see in a chart. Same goes for um, just an example. If you do have a, uh, well, maybe I can show it here. Is that something? Well, yeah, you could say here, uh, look, I am looking here at, this is the trend. This is consolidation before continuation. And you can find that on any time frame. Do not uh, just try to connect dots uh, because then you would have something like this. Uh, but, but tell yourself what is happening here. Uh, and that makes it a lot more cleaner what kind of pattern you are uh, in or what kind of pattern the price is in. So um, makes much more sense than just connecting dots. Um, I have a uh, few examples how to um, determine targets for leg number two, leg number three, leg number four. It's all in this uh, document. And uh, if you are interested to learn the basic rules, uh, not mastering Elliott Wave, but if you're interested in uh, finding a bit more insight in Elliott Wave, I will leave the link in the description and then you can download this and, and yeah, you can uh, start using it. <laughs> um, this is, by the way, our website where I will update. I will post it in the website, but this is uh, our training section where we do have tons of videos 
for uh, members. We have a very strong belief that there is no holy grail in, um, in trading. Some people uh, do very well on, uh, on, on price action trading. Other, others prefer Elliott Wave, others trading the range. It fully de depends on, on what is, um, like, like, let's say like order book flow. I just do not get the grip on that type of trading. Otherwise, um, I am pretty impatient. I cannot trade on a uh, daily time frame or, or higher, uh, or use a trend following system like Ichimoku Cloud. That goes way too slow for me. So I'm much more interested in trading the range and everybody um, has a different character and also a different trading style, what, what suits you. That's why we offer quite a lot of uh, different uh, trading styles to to learn and members in our group um, can can follow these videos and then find what suits them the best uh, during a couple of months uh, training and trading with us so lots of videos if you ever are interested uh, to join then uh, send me a message um final thing today um what i said i oh yeah the uh, Wu trading pairs, what I just showed you in the beginning and now on trading view, I do have a uh, what I created the watch list with all the Wu trading pairs and you can download it from our site. I will also link this, um, I post a link in, uh, in the video description. Um, as said, I really like the Wu platform and uh, all the possibilities to build your own trading panel, apart from the, the very uh, good liquidity they have, uh, one of the best liquidities, deepest liquidity in, in crypto. But um, if you get used to, um, to their platform, it's like visiting a uh, unknown supermarket. You have never been before in a supermarket and then you have to find the stuff you always buy. And it's, it's, it's always uh, terrible to, to find your way. Same goes for um, a crypto exchange. If you change from, from Binance to FTX, you didn't like FTX and you thought about going back to Binance. And then in the end, you like FTX still a, a lot more. Uh, same goes here. Uh, you have to get used to it, but what really helps is that you can find all kinds of different uh, layouts. You can build your own layout and uh, make your perfect trading uh, uh, environment. Last thing I wanted to do for today is the Twitter giveaway. <clears throat> um, I already loaded the tweet, which you had to retweet for um, um, to be a possible winner. <laughs> um, I do have, I, I did see, where is it? Uh, I think over here, yeah, uh, 601 retweets. So I said $500 giveaway, follow me here and on YouTube. Let's forget YouTube uh, because that is, Terrible to check that. Um, if you retweet this message, I will uh, pick one winner coming weekend. So now uh, you can earn $250 in Woo. And if you signed up with my referral link, my referral link in Woo uh, is pretty unique. Nobody, I have no, nobody seen that offering. We share the referral fees. I am... Um, I do have the highest tier in, in Woo, uh, tier six, and every all the referral income I receive when you trade on Woo with my link, then uh, we split 50-50 uh, the income, the referral bonus. Um, if you use my referral link, then uh, I will double the, the price to $500 in Woo uh, tokens. So I picked a retweet picker. Uh, let's see if this works. I loaded the, the tweet. Uh, I need one winner. Must follow crypto at. 
Uh, let's see, continue. Ah, here are the retweets, 578. Okay, so he, I saw, I thought 600, but he skipped a few bots probably. Oh yeah, look here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is fun. There is a uh, impersonator who retweeted this and now he might win. <laughs> um, continue. I don't know if this is working. I never tried it. Uh, Reply with winners. Well, where is my winner? <laughs> uh, one winner. Where is my winner? I, I think this one. Jawad Rat. Um, let me check on Twitter if he is. Uh, What did we say, Jawad? Uh, Jawad Rat. He's following me. Part-time crypto trader, full-time teacher. Uh, joined February 2022. Okay. Well, he retweeted a couple of times. Oh, he's a retweet. Uh, he's doing a lot of oh no it's not that much it's pretty new well um jawad rat if you uh, see this video i will i will send you a uh, message in, in your dms that you won and i hope for you that you uh, used my referral link uh, because then i can double the price let me uh just to be sure, I'm going to uh, save this and then I will uh, contact this guy. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's for now the video. Um, I think it's way longer than I wanted. Uh, I hope you liked it. If not, then I won't see you next time, but next time will be in two weeks. And then I will again do Bitcoin, uh, Ether, altcoins, uh, and then I will have more time to uh, spend some time on uh, the Woo Network trading, the Woo uh, trading exchange and uh, show you some different possibilities. I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And uh, if you didn't subscribe or like my videos, please do that. And uh, that keeps me going. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.